Gamers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Royce. I am a painter, sculptor, and a collector. Today's episode is going to be all about hats. I have quite a bit of hats that I have come to discover in my collection and I cannot wait to give you a grand tour. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, we're going to begin with two hats that are very similar but also incredibly different. They come from the same franchise of films but just completely different versions. We're going to first start out with this beautiful hat. This hat is from Disneyland and I'm not sure if they sold it at Disney World. If you are aware of that, please let me know. I'd love to know. I got this hat in 1999 at Disneyland and this is the Mad Hatter's hat and it is just such a beautiful standard representation of the Mad Hatter's hat. This is the one that I think of when I think of the Mad Hatter at Disneyland. It's very similar to his and it just has the iconic 10 cents. It has the iconic 10 six hat tag on it and this hat is just one of my favorites in my collection and it's one of the oldest things that I have here and it's not only a piece of Disney memorabilia but it's also very very sentimental to me. Here we have something very very ornate detailed and just incredibly beautiful and handcrafted. This is the Mad Hatter's hat from the 2000 and... <laughs> Up next, we have the Mad Hatter's hat from the 2010 film. This is the hat that Johnny Depp wore in the movie. So this hat is such a beautiful, beautiful, ornate piece, completely handcrafted from scratch. I mean, take a look at this. Look at the ornate little fun pins with all the different toppers that they have on them. The beautiful silk ribbon that just flows through the back. I love, love, love the peacock feather on the other side. And of course, it would not be the Mad Hatter's hat without the iconic 10-6 tag on the side. I love that it's burnt, and if you watch the movie, you will understand the backstory to that. This hat was very, very fun to have in my collection. It was actually gifted to me and I just love this so much. All right, coming in next, we have two very, very fun pieces I cannot wait to show you. Here we have the Clopin costume hat. I actually have the entire costume, which I'll have to show you one day. And I also pulled out for you something that is not a hat, but I keep in the same box, and that is his mask. This is a true iconic original prop piece from the Festival of Fool show at Disneyland. This is such a fun piece in my collection. You'll actually still see in here the foam that was used so that the performer wouldn't have any, um, like I think smudging of makeup or just to make it a little bit more comfortable. Who does not love the Hunchback of Notre Dame? I love Clopin. I moved so much in my lifetime that I kind of became a gypsy. So why not have the hat and the mask to match and become king of the gypsies? <laughs> I love this hat in particular because I love the shape of it. It's such a cartoon shape and I don't know how the person that made this did this but it has like that beautiful like hook arched cone thing going on and these feathers are just absolutely large and in charge and beautiful. This is probably one of my favorite hats in my collection. Coming in next we have a very very fun piece probably one of the more iconic pieces in hat world that you would think of. And this is the sorting hat from Harry Potter. This hat is so detailed, so precise to the original in the film. Now the original of course was actually just a regular hat that she held up and then it was computerized the face in. But this hat is actually imprinted and sculpted to look like the face in the film. It's a beautiful, beautiful example of the sorting hat in Harry Potter and this scene in Harry Potter was always my favorite and I always wondered and wanted to have that opportunity to have him put on my head and to see what house I would go in. I think because I'm creative and because I am very determined, would I be Hufflepuff? Would I be Ravenclaw? Would I be Gryffindor? Maybe I'd be Slytherin. I don't know. You tell me as somebody that is a fan of Harry Potter and you see me what house do you think I would belong in? I'm very curious to see your replies. All right, moving right along, we're going to be pulling out this sombrero. Now this is something that's very sentimental to me. 
and I know I'm gonna say that so much in this video. I got this at Epcot and they sold this in the Mexico Pavilion in like that giant pyramid where the um, Three Caballeros attraction is. And I got this, I believe in 2015, 2016, and it is a hat and it's in my collection. That's why I pulled it out. It's really nothing more than that. And I just keep it as one day it'll be a vintage piece from the Disney parks. So yes, the sombrero is very, very neat. Moving along down here, you, I mean, I don't think I could have this video without showing you a pair of Mickey Mouse ears. These ears are very special to me. These were given to me by Walt Disney Imagineering. You can actually see the patch on there. And this is such a beautiful, beautiful copy of the most iconic ears that were worn in the Mickey Mouse Club. These are so iconic to Disney, more so than probably any hat there is out there ever made by the company. And no collection is complete without at least one pair of Mickey Mouse ears. So last but not least, we have a very special hat and this is going to be a hard hat. This is also the hardest hat I have in my collection. This is such a fun hat to own. I have worn this hat many, many times for many, many different occasions. I sometimes wear it when I'm just painting in the studio. I think of it as like a creative cap and it just like sparks imagination into me. And all the Imagineers have this, these hats, or usually they do if they work in the field. So for instance, if I'm working the Jungle Cruise and it's down for a refurb, I'll wear this, Pirates, Splash, Tiki, it really doesn't matter. Anytime in the attraction is down, we'll be wearing these hats. So. All these hats have the Imagineer's name on the side. And then on this side, you will see Sorcerer Mickey. Now this is where it changes. So if you are a, kind of like a earlier Imagineer, you will have this Sorcerer Mickey logo with the wand. Now the more modern Imagineers, and I think this started in 2015, you will see the logo of Mickey with his hand out. So this is probably one of the more sentimental hats I have in my collection. All right, everyone, that is going to do it for this episode of Imagine with Royce. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That way you are notified whenever I upload a new video. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Be nice to one another and always remember not only to follow your dreams, but to chase them. I wonder, Gryffindor or Hufflepuff? Thank you.